Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to Future Stars Live on Adai TV. I'm your host, Asha, and just to remind you, um, our topic is Imam Hassan alayhi salam. And just before the break, Hussein was um, speaking a little bit more about his um, childhood, wasn't he? And how he, how, how he was as a, um, a young person as well. And we're going to go more into that, but before that, Hussein has something um, for us today. So, can we start him off to the last salawat? Allahumma Today I'll be making a Ramadan lantern. Uh, an example of this is here, as you can see. So first off, we're gonna start. So you take uh, A4. It can be any size, like A4. I'm using an A4 piece of card. You fold it in half. So uh, before that, tell, tell them like what, what what they need. Oh, um. So for this, you'd need um, scissors, a card, of course. Um, you can use staples or sellotape, tape, and you can use a pipe cleaner. So um. Yeah, so first of all, we're going to start by folding the paper in half. Like so. And now you want to take this side where you've just folded it and you want to start cutting here. So, uh, so you're going to start cutting like, at, like, start cutting through. Make sure you don't go right across. You leave a bit of gap and you keep doing that for the whole card. What is it used for? Um, well, this is it's used for decoration and just to make like to look eat, nice, eat, sort of. Eat. And can you uh, like? And a and you can and we like people do this for Eid and celebrations and like, yeah. Also, when you're cutting, do they have to um um have to have the same length or does? It I not. Uh, well, yeah, the, they should, but it doesn't have to be exactly the same for every single one. Can you add patches inside it so when you put like a candle under it, the patch, the light, um, put patterns on the wall and stuff? Oh, well, yeah, but that's a bit advanced. You can do stuff like that, oh. and you can also um, add like stickers to this or decorate it however you want. So um, now you, so now I've cut. Now I. Now that I've um, now that I've like cutted the whole piece of paper, you want to take one side and sort of bring it over like like so, like this, and it should make this sort of shape. Now you want to take your stapler and you want to staple where they join together. This this is kind of fiddly at this part, so you got to be careful. And you do the same with the other side as well. At this point, it it would look like something like this, and you could like play with it and. Um, now you could take your pipe cleaner, you don't have to do this part but some people do do this and so you take it through one of the gaps and basically go straight through and they should meet at the top where you would cross them over. Would you say this is hard or easy? This is a very simple and easy like art and craft When you're putting the pipe uh, cleaner through, does it have to be through the middle or does it could it be anyone? Uh, through the middle, it has to be through the middle so it can come out through the top. So yeah, it should look like something like this. And that's how you make a Ramadan lantern. Salawat Allahumma Salim Muhammad Wa Muhammad Wa 
thank you uh, thank you saying so that's just um uh, w w what did you call it a ramazan a ramazan lantern and um it looks like um um a chinese lantern doesn't it as well so um and th this is like a, Roma, um, a Ramadan decoration and um, things that you can put up for Eid so you don't have to go outside and um, maybe buy some stuff or um, if you want to do some stuff at home um, this is a really good thing that you could put up for decoration for Eid as well and then Hussein is gonna um, wh what are you gonna do next week? A um, a a flower like it's like a star isn't it yeah it's yeah like it's a it's kind of using a similar method to this and um it's gonna like come out uh, when he staples it it's gonna um look like a kind of star looking thing isn't it yeah yeah so um um thank you for that hussein and miss but wh what are you going to talk about now um um the um, when the ho um, when the Holy Imam Hassan rem was remembering of God. So um, Miss was going to talk a little bit more about Imam Hassan alayhi salam and his like kind of remember uh, remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So can we start off with a loud salwa? Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad wa ajil farajah. The holy Imam devoted himself to prayers in such abundance that all his limbs bore scars and impressions of his prostration, said Law. Most of his nights were spent on the prayer carpet. The sense of his absor absorption and humiliation in prayers to God were in such earnest that he would shed tears profusely out of a fear of God. While performing ablution, he trembled with fear of God and his face grew pale at the time of prayers. His earnest meditation of in the offering of prayers and his extreme absorption in the communion with God would render him entirely unconscious of his environments. Salawat. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad wa ajil farajahum. Thanks, Misbah. So, Miss was talking about his remember, uh, remembrance of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. So, what, um, what, sh um, what was the physical signs of Imam Hassan al Islam that he had that showed that he um, did a lot of um, sajda and um, prostration to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala? Anyone, Misbah? Uh, um, he had both scars on him and um, bruises like that. Yeah, so he had scars and bruises from um, all, all of his like um, long time in prayer, Ali. I was going to say that other Yeah, so um, Ali was going to say that Oh, he had all these scars and stuff because of how he prayed in it um, And um, his long um, period Yeah, his long periods of um, Salah and how he prayed So this was one of, one of the points that showed his like a physical side Of how, how you could see that he did a lot of um, praying And remember of, uh, of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala What else did she mention there? Any, any of you remember? Uh, he was shed tears profusely out of the fear of God. So he used to what, Mohsin? He would shed a tear profusely out of the fear of God. So he would all um like um shed. He would be really scared. No, no. Would you say scared? Like, like uh, remember, remember when we was talking about hadith? I think it was from Imam Ali al Islam. Um, is that um. Um, the three types of the worshippers of Allah, and then one was um, one was that, um, um, the one that uh, is things, the out of fear. Do you think Imam Hassan was like that? No, uh, no, but like af not af like, not scared, but like. Um, do you, do, do, are you sure he was crying about himself? Are you sure, or could we be crying about someone else? Um, Zaki. He might um, fear. He might uh, might be. He might afraid. Not afraid. You think our moms are afraid? Mm -hmm. no. Out of all the, all the good things they do, you, you think that you think they get scared? Um, uh, Misper? Uh, he would um, be like um, of fear, feared of Allah, like fear Allah. Yeah, obviously you need to have this fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But um, why would he um, shed a tear? This was his sign of worship, wasn't it? As well to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he cared about us. Uh, um, he cared about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Um, he like, wanted to show this um, yeah, devotion, very, very good words, Zaki. Devotion to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And, um, um, and, he, um, and, we, um, and he's not actually, not that he's um, scared of the punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, just because he, he is worthy of 
because he is worthy of worship. It's not because he's scared um, scared of the punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's because of um, that he is uh, Allah is the only one worthy of worship, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. And and that that's why Imams and our prophets, uh, peace be upon them, have all. Um, Ha, um, have all this devotion to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so um, thank you Mr. and Ali, uh, Ali and Zaki you have something for us haven't you yes yeah, so can we start the off with the loud salawat Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad wa ajil farjahum Ramadan is here the month that is blessed Ramadan is here the month we love best the month is which the Quran was sent, a time of great blessings in which to repent. Fasting for Allah is a great is a great Muslim deed, controlling desires and suppressing greed. Ramadan is coming. Increase your Imam. Iman. Iman. Ramadan is coming. Recite the Quran. Take sh shahur in the day of the night, no eating or drinking during the daylight. Ref refrain from bad deeds and repent your soul. The pleasure of Allah is our only goal. Even if there's hunger, remember your Lord and wait until iftar to earn your reward. Fasting is one of the gifts of Allah given to believers to increase taqwa. We, we pray to Allah to pour right our hearts, ask for forgiveness from Allah and make a new start. Raising our hands, we ask for His, his Ratma. Hear us, our Lord, and grant us Jannah. Jannah. In the name of Allah, the most merciful, the most kind, a blessed month is casting a shadow upon us. A night, a night of this month is better than a thousand months. Bear with patience for the sake of our Rahman. It's a continuous training to strengthen our Rahman. Glory be to Allah who sent Ramadan as a mercy to mankind. It's a purification of our soul, our heart and our mind. With the most sincere devotion and love, we fast to be cleansed and free from sins of the past. Glorified is he who shows us this this holy month to test our sabah and fill our heart with warm, warmth of his divine light, his blessing shall glow, the seer of the unseen, all he does know. Ya Allah, for thee let my breath be more pleasant than musk. Ya Allah, for thee let me be thankful when day turns to dusk. My thoughts and my heart are purified. My eyes truly see this blessed month. The month of spiritual rhapsody. Ya Allah, for thee my life I shall live. Ya Allah, for thee my soul I shall give. In the name of Allah, the most merciful, the most kind, praise. Be to Allah who sent Ramadan as gift to mankind. So, uh, Allah, Muhammad, Muhammad, Thank you, Ali and Zaki. That was really nice and short. Um, how um, how we should like um, remember this month and f uh, and make sure that we remind ourselves that it was actually a gift from Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala this month because of all the blessings that we do get in this month. So, Mosin, you've got the next thing, and can we start Mosin off with the loud salawat? Imam Hassan had great word, worldly positions at his disposal and could have enjoyed well and a luxurious life, but he uh, utilized all of it in the betterment of condition of the poor. He was so contarious and humbled that he never hesitated to sit along the uh, along the beggars in the alleyways and through fairs 
of Medina to apply to some of their religious inquiries through the cordial attitude and hospitality he never let the poor and the humble feel interfere to him when they visited his home salawat Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad wa ajjil farajum Thank you Mohsin. He was, um, Mohsin was talking about the humidity of Imam uh, Hassan Islam and how he was around the poor. Um, um, Ali, do you want to say anything? Uh, uh, d- do you want to say anything more about that? You, you can um, say anything more. So what did Imam Hassan do? Well, what did Mohsin say that Imam Hassan done there? Um, he stayed with the poor when other people never did and yeah. and some of the poor visited his home. Yeah, and um, um, oh, um, Mohsin? Um, yeah, he, he could have lived um, a luxurious life, but he, but he decided to uh, go and go sit with uh, poor people and uh, and uh, d- uh, don't uh, like it d- and help them. Yeah, so um, Mosin was saying that it, that he could have had a really luxurious life um, and all these things for him, but he never he actually went out to the poor and and help them and then whenever the poor would come to his house he would make them um he would never make them feel like they were inferior to him w- w- wasn't that right that mm-hmm. um uh, that's what Mohsin yeah. said that um, and so this just showed the humidity humidity um of um of imam hassan alayhi and how we should be like him and how we should strive to um help the poor and needy um like Imam Hassan alayhi salam did as well. So Hussein, you've got the um, last thing. So can we start with saying Allah 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 Muhammad The demise of the Holy Prophet was followed by an eventful era when the Islamic world came into the grip of a fever of expans- expansion and conquest. But even under such a revolutionary phase, Imam Hassan kept himself devoted to the sacred mission of peacefully pro- proper propagating Islam and the teaching of propagating Islam and the teachings of the Holy Prophet along with his great father Hazrat Ali Alayhisam. The martyrdom of Hazrat Ali Alayhisam on the 21st of Ramadan marked the inception of Imam Hassan Imamat. The majority of Muslims pledged their allegiance to him and finalized the formality of Bayat Oath of Allegiance. No sooner had he taken the reins of leadership into his hands and then he had to meet the challenge of Mavia, the governor of Syria who declared a war against him in complement with the will of God and with a view of refrain from causing the massacre of Muslims. However, however, he entered into a peace, peace peace treaty with Mavia on terms which saved Islam and stopped a civil war but this peace treaty was never meant as a surrender by him of the per- permanent leadership to Mavia. It was meant only as an interim, interim transfer of the administration of the Islamic Kingdom subject to the condition that the administration would be surrendered back to Imam Hassan after Mavia's death and then it would it, then it would in return be inherited by Imam Hussein al-Islam. Having revered himself at, of administrative responsibilities, Imam Hassan al-Islam kept the religious leadership with himself and devoted his life to the prop propagation of Islam and the teachings of the Holy Prophet in Medina. Salawat. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad wa ajil farajum. Thank you, Sayyid. So, um, he was talking about the Imamat of Imam Hassan alayhi salam and a lot of important points that he mentioned there. But unfortunately, um, we have run out of time for this um, um, uh, uh, for this show. Um, unfortunately, we can't. Um, we'll maybe n- next week we'll read some of the questions of, uh, of about that, so we can question uh, question you guys and test your knowledge. So, um, have you learned a lot on today's show? Yes. Yes. And I hope people at home as well have learned a lot on today's show. So, um, can we have a final salawat in honor of the Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wa sallam? And I 
second in honor of the holy first Imam, Imam Ali alayhi salam. Allahumma salli Muhammad wa ala Muhammad wa ajil And third, we allow the voices in honor of the Imam that time, Imam Sahib al-Asri was the man. Allahumma Um, so we're going to see you next week with um, more Ramadan topics um, for the, um, um, I think we've got like three weeks of Ramadan actually left now. So um, um, for the conclusion of the, uh, our Ramadan topics, uh, of our Ramadan um, like um, series. So we'll see you next week, same time, same place on Hadaya TV. But until then, good office.